guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel. Um, this is process video number 140 and it is a double page spread. Now I'm using my homemade scrapbook kit for the month of March and April for this particular page. And if you are interested in seeing what I had put together or the products that I have gathered for that particular page or that particular kit, sorry, make sure that you check out the description box um, down below so that you can get a link for that video. Um, now this one has a lot of photos as you can see there are I believe there's there are nine pictures here and they're all four by six and I do trim out um, some of them just a little bit though not a whole lot um, and I'm starting off with a blue cardstock and um, that one's from Doodlebug and here I'm just measuring the the top of that left or right side page because I wanted to cut up this paper it's a really pretty vintage paper and I initially had picked it for the other side of it which it is a pink floral paper with some gold details but this very subtle floral design just matched well with my paper I mean with my page because I know that I will be covering most of it with photos and titles and so I decided to just use that one instead of the brighter and more bold um, backside. And as always, what I do with my double page layout, since I do tend to scrapbook a lot of photos, is I start with laying my photos first to see where it's going to go. And then that's when I'm going to kind of um, piece together my page with pattern paper. And I do have one more picture here, but at this point I could not find it. And so I'm just going to go move around some other things. Now I had had that homegrown piece for a long time, like really years. And I wanted to use it, but of course it has a pail on um, one side. And I thought, you know what, it's not going to work with this particular page. So I ended up just cutting the, um, the, the pail or the, the water jug there. And... If I had thought about that, maybe I would have used that product a, a lot sooner. Um, but of course, I was kind of stuck with looking at that product just as it is. And so if you are looking for kind of an idea or inspiration, maybe look at your products in a, um, in a different way or don't look at it as just how it is for, um, it was the, how the product was intended to be used. So... Um, so you can maximize your supplies and use up your stash, even if um, it's very themed. So I added some very thin sh strip of paper, and I think I cut that about a quarter inch width. And then I wanted to use the stamp that I pulled for this particular kit. Now, um, I do have white cardstock, but I like to use the backside of papers that I no longer like as well. And so that's what I'm going to be using. And this Fisker stamp set is... Um, a nesting stamp set so as you can see that circle had a lot of different image that you can pull out and so that's what I'm going to be using here and I love this set and it's interesting how I love it but I it's been a while since I've used it and I also want to use the um, the rub on that rub on pack that I pulled out for this particular kit and my plan is to um, stamp the frames of this particular stamp set and then fussy cut it and then add the rub on words to it and I thought that that will um, add a little bit of kind of homemade embellishment for this page and then also use up my stash so if you're new to my channel or um, it's been a while since you have visited me here I'm actually trying to do a spending freeze for the year of 2018 now um, I do a Kind of a little vlog every month i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to make one in march just because we're kind of late in in the in the month but i will try but i just kind of talk about um if i had any successes as far as my spending freeze for that particular month and what i've learned so um if you are interested in that make sure that you check the other videos um just hit on my name or on my picture if you're watching this on youtube and it will direct you to my channel and um, you can see my vlogs there. Um, 
and so you can kind of catch up. Also, if you have not subscribed, I suggest that you do so, so that you will be informed when I um, share my, my next video. So here I'm just trying to figure out what words will fit perfectly with those particular frames that I've cut, and then I'm just cutting them out right now, setting them where I want them, and then I will rub them all at the same time. Now that square one, um, I was thinking maybe I could put another word in there, but I like um, elements in three, and so what I did was I, I'm just going to use that fourth stamped frame and actually add my date to that, but um, that, I will do that later on. So here I just decided I'm going to cut that pail and that works best, best for my layout because the pail didn't, doesn't really connect with my theme, but the homegrown I think did. So that's why I decided to add that. Now part of my title is this um, happy die cut. I just grab a free font and then cut out a bunch of kind of generic words with my silhouette cameo and then I just keep that on hand for projects like this where I need a title and then I can use it. I love the script um, fonts because they break up a lot of the rigid squares and rectangles that we usually see on a page. Now my journaling has already been um, pre-printed from the computer and I what I did was I actually typed up the words when I posted the pictures last year around this time and so when I had posted it, I did a, you know, I typed up all of my quote unquote caption and that became my journaling for this particular page. As you can see, this is a very traditional Easter um, egg coloring. So there's nothing really different from this. Although in this particular one, um, my two older kids decided that they are more interested in their technology than coloring the eggs. And my youngest one was the only one that's really interested. And I do add that in my journaling. So, um, so yeah, I just typed up the journaling um, that I pulled out from the caption when I posted this on my Facebook um, Facebook page. Now I am just basically finishing off the uh, page here now. I am do using some homemade enamel dots and that is just made from perler beads and I'm going to put that, I believe I'm going to put that in four different spots or maybe three different spots. I can't remember but I do like working with threes and odd numbers because I think that that's visually more appealing than even. Um, so that's what I'm going to do and I think I used five. I did add a 2017 in that space for the, the date and that is my page. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will catch you guys another day. Bye!